Let their peers play for them. The peers, that's the ones you really have the true placement. You know, the peers, their peers, you know. So wherever their peers have them, that's, that's pretty much where they belong, you know. Because one thing about fighters, whether they in the same weight class or whether they don't even like the guy they're going to fight, they're going to tell the truth about what they feel. So boxers let everybody know where the boxer should be in terms of <laughs> you know, pound for pound. The next couple of years, uh, right here is four phrases like that. But you notice they use uh, that one word to to justify whoever has a personal preference. And that one word is mythical. You know, they use mythical so they can justify their preference. You know, well, this is my guy. Wait a minute, man. He hasn't done anything. He hasn't done anything. Well, but, you know, it's just mythical, man. It's my preference. I don't get caught off in any of that really. They just uh, really just to show same thing today as it was last year. I remember over a year ago you got the wolf and you told me in Vegas to watch out for this guy. He had a setback, but he just came back with a great win. What do you make of his progress he's made since he's been with you? Well, the fact that he moved a welterweight where he should have been, you know, the he's got some great opportunities. Um, you know, it took a while for <laughs> other people to realize that he should be a welterweight, not a junior welterweight. He's been doing that since he was 16. So, okay, Troy, so too bad he had to lose a fight that he was actually winning that to come about, but, you know, to come back and beat a bigger name, that, that put him right back in the mix. Wolf the fight. Playing the self in the fight. Virgil, Andre asked about, it said there used to be gym wars between King's Gym and Kit, uh, Pittman's. Can you tell me a little bit about that back in the day? Because I'm kind of curious about that rivalry. Uh, you know, as far as I know, of course, I mean, you would have different amateurs fights. It, you know, it wasn't like it was a continuous thing, but, you know, if you go over there and spar, you know, they're going to defend their gym honor and vice versa. So that's pretty much what it was. I can't think of any uh, pro fights where uh, somebody from Kings fought somebody from Pittman. Uh, but, you know, it was a good, friendly, uh, uh, you know, contest going on at the time. Sir.